you just did this Kickstarter to like come up with some money to finish this record and put it out. You kind of knew it was going to explode like this and you were going to... I did. I had never been part of a Kickstarter campaign. And so the question is, well, you know, how much do you ask for? And they spit out a number and I, I didn't voice it, but in my mind I said, yeah, fat chance. Nobody's going to do that. 18 hours later, we're on to the next, the next round. Right before we did it, I thought, ah, this may... I, well, I think we could probably make it eventually, but yeah, I was nervous about it too. You're huffing on your own fumes. Like it's, <laughs> yeah. I think we enjoyed the, the fact that it went so well so soon that we just started dreaming bigger. And The thing for me was the sudden awareness as people are writing back in, they're making their contributions and they're writing, sending us notes. We had never toured the United States. Right. You know, I had no idea that the music we made, I knew it was good in my opinion. But when I read the comments that were coming in from people that were contributing, it really took me aback. And I, I was surprised that the music had impacted people's lives as they were telling us that, that it did. That was the best thing about the Kickstarter experience for me was that, yeah, I still get a little buzz over it. It's like we painted a picture that was this really good painting and then we just stuck it in the attic and nobody's gonna ever see it so i said boys it's let's let's just put it out there i mean i'll i'll pay to put it on spotify you know i had no idea how you do any of that but but it was like it's it's time to you know let's get this thing out of the attic and put it out there so people can see it really we did the kickstarter just so mike would stop calling me (laughs) (laughs) did it work (laughs) 